Are you having a hard time hearing? Oh. Then you're in luck. The new Tricom Mark One. Ladies and gentlemen, after one week of hard developing here at Tricom, we've come up with a new revolutionizing communicative device. Let me introduce you to the Tricom Mark One. Uh, this is how it works. Uh, it uses light to communicate in Morse code. Let me show you. key features about our device. Uh, it can both send and receive messages from both sides and uh, it also works in the dark since it's lights that communicate. And we also use positive energy. Here's our device in action. Let's see, that's an H. And that's an eye. Tim sent high. There are some changes to our device. Uh, we decided to use a much smaller box instead of the much larger and heavier box we used in the prototype. Uh, we thought this was more convenient as the larger box were more uh, bulky. Uh, we also decided to uh, use regular wires instead of uh, copper wires as we also used copper wires in the first prototype. Uh, this is because uh, copper wire is just so hard to create a circuit with. And uh, yeah, that's it. Going on to the materials. Uh, we used the uh, two Pringles can, uh, one on each side of the cardboard box, which was the battery component. Uh, we used the Pringles can because of their uh, stability and uh, their length. Hello, today we're going to do an analysis on the Tricom Mark I. Even though it's uh, the leading communicative device using Pringle scans and a box, it has its weaknesses. For example, it is not waterproof since it's made out of cardboard. Some more disadvantages are that it's really bulky so you can't carry it around like you would with a mobile phone. And also the wires inside the box here are very loose, so you know it it might you know turn off or turn on by itself if you move it. And also, if you're going to do a maintenance on this device, it's really hard since these Pringle scans can only be opened from this side, and uh, you know something might be wrong back here and then it's really hard for you since you can only open here. Very good Ricard! Going on to the advantages of our device. <coughs> we have only used recycled materials uh, such as these uh, Pringles scans which there has been uh, Pringles inside of them but we have eaten them already. And uh, this uh, cardboard box used to contain light bulbs but now with this uh, the but now it is containing the, our uh, battery component and also a couple of wires. Uh, you can also learn Morse code uh, by, by, by using these uh, Morse code translators uh, at both ends of our device, uh, which can be really helpful in an emergency situation. We are also using light so you can communicate in, dark too, in the dark too. This is our light in the dark effect in action. Den är fantastisk. It's 11 out of 10. It's a revolutionary. I love it. I think this could be used by people with disabilities. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Do you think this could be used by someone with a disability? For instance, if somebody can hear, but I wanted to say hi, and I went like this, do you think they would know what I mean? No, because it's more code. But there's a translator there. Yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, what do you 
think about the device like overall? I like it. It's sturdy. It's easy. Um, it's a good communicator, so I don't have to scream all the time. So I don't have to scream all the time. I can just message. Um, it reminds me of Pringles, which I always get. Sour cream and onions, my favorite flavor. Uh, yeah. Is it cheap? How much is this? If I wanted to buy it. Like, you know, I don't know. We haven't discussed the price. Ah, but we're thinking about like. Two thousand crowns. Two thousand crowns. No, I don't know. Fully assembled. Oh, that's nothing. That's a bargain. I would buy this.